Some snakes in my life this year, Jesus. So, but we, we did some gardening. we did some gardening in this bitch. <laughs> snakes, man. Still got our money. Mm -hmm. so, you know what? 2013 for me. If I had to have a New Year's resolution, I would say I want to be healthier. I want to lose 25 pounds, and I want more money. I want some money. Healthier, wealthy. And I want I want to be happier. I think. Yeah. Which will come from being healthy and wealthy. Exactly. I think yeah, as long as I'm doing something career Staying wise, busy. I'll be cool. Was this a bad year for us? Would you say? You know what? I would. I would say this was a. It wasn't a bad year because we learned. Year. You know what I mean? We learned a lot. This was a year of actually learning from experience you know and actually being taught stuff. This was a lesson learning year because we all went through a lot of different things and it was like to better us. I think it was more prep for next year, for 2013. You know, it was prep. Letting us know, hey, you can get rid of the snakes, get through your uh, trials and tribulations, and that was just, I think it was preparing us. It's like when you prepare a boxer, you don't just throw him in there to fight a champion. You go out, you go in and you train him up and you get him ready. You don't just, you know what I mean? You just don't, you don't throw him in mm -hmm. there for, to, you, you, right. you so I feel himself. like it was just a matter of, training us to be prepared get rid of people that don't need to come to get blessed with our blessings that's just how i feel 2013 that is a year for blessings so. big inspirational nigga big optimistic looking <laughs> motherfucker no that was good thank you i like that thank you but what kayla just said that inspired me because I, you know 2012 for me has been you already know yeah. trying year health wise which affected me mentally and you know some people always want to say um nothing crazy but, right uh, <laughs> like, wait, before they think no, it's nothing dying and, nothing crazy but yeah. you know what because i've I'm, I'm always been used to being in shape being healthy and i have to really worry about weight issues right. which can result in different sicknesses or whatever have you so i'm like okay Used to being a skinny nigga, done gained some weight, done got problems, so it affected me mentally and being down all the time. But um, I just lost what I was about to say. What the heck was I just saying? Why that inspired you? It inspired me to be more positive 
basically to be, um, I mean, Jesus, <laughs> can I get my mind back? Oh, I just had a brain fart. Aww. I feel so stupid. It stinks, too. I felt like that. But no, for real, though. <laughs> Yeah. I was inspired by what you said because I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna basically, oh, basically, I'm not gonna just be in my feelings. Right. Because you know how certain little, little cat right, right. down like, okay, I'm all depressed and all. Why me? Why me? And people do always say, um, be grateful because it could be much worse. Mm -hmm. And you know what? With that, I mean, that is true. That's However, true. sometimes I do feel like sometimes, you know, we just need to be in our feelings. Like, Right. That don't take away that we're going right, through what right. we're going through. You're not going through the same thing, so you can't really relate. I understand trying to be inspiration and crap, but sometimes a nigga just needs to be in the feelings for like for a while. Cry a few tears, get over it. But right. you know, so this year, but that's why that inspired me because it's like you know what? Yeah, I went through this year with little boom cakes, whatever. But next year, I'm not gonna let it affect me, and I'm gonna get better for the simple fact I'm losing this weight. I'm going to drop too. these pounds. Believe, I'm getting Therefore, a gym membership, going to be so you healthier. need to come with me. Mental going to be cool. I'm going to be way happier. So gym yeah, membership. I'm going to um, be um, optimistic, basically. That's what that um, basically Good. told me to be. So 2013, we're going to be optimistic and rich. Yes, Kidding. very. Y'all know I don't care about money. Um, Kayla, on the other hand. Still got our money. Um, yeah, we have a gym membership. Let's try to avoid it anymore. A gym membership bump that I'm going to go outside. Nigga, I'm going to run. Snow, we're going to, to fit works over here. I'm going to out works. I'm just to saying, work we're out. going to fit works. Kayla, you can go to fit works. You're going to. We'll discuss this. Like, he ain't going to go across. I'm, listen, I'm going to drop 25 pounds by changing my diet because I'm not just trying to oh, lose yeah, weight to be it. slim. I'm trying to get healthier. I oh, have yeah. to get healthy. Because I can't exactly. deal with fat foe problems. Exactly. No shade to the fat foe, but I just can't deal with it. I'm just saying. So I'm going to get healthier. We're going to be, you know, be, you know what? Good. Yeah, I think this is um, going to be a, 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 be a way better a year. year I think us. it's going to be a wonderful year. Separate I just feel like. Together. Yeah. I, yeah, I feel that. I just feel in my spirit. I, I, I just, you know, I, I, I feel I, I like it's something it. around it. me that I just feel like. That's why I can't any negative thing that's coming towards me or anything Locker. that somebody sense like I don't know what you talk like I don't it's mm -hmm. I won't even register in my mind to accept it. It's like what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. That may be for you, you know, almost like a shield. Sometimes you gotta create a shield for yourself when somebody says something negative. It's like it, it's it. bouncing off of you and going right back to them. So everything they're saying to you, they're just they're looking at themselves and they saying it to themselves. Cause a lot of times people gonna say stuff when they see a, a lot of times people can see that you are destined to prosper and they can see that you are destined to be something or they can damn near see you being that before you can even really see it and pe i mean it's been a lot of people how many people that came up to us like y'all supposed to be this y'all supposed to have that or y'all make this and before we even really grasped it and said okay we're gonna accept it we was like oh that's cute yeah we supposed to be <laughs> whatever but a lot of people were already, it was almost like prophesying, already telling us, hey, that's what you are. A lot of people. And then you got a lot of people that, y'all shouldn't do this, or y'all should. And it's like, now you juggling those two things before you even accepted it. And now that we accept it, it's like, dude, nothing that y'all say, good or bad, it don't matter. Because it's what we think and what it is that we right. have accepted at the end of the day. If we don't accept it, it's not going to be anything. Now that we have accepted, it's like, hey, positivity only, it's all coming. I don't need you to tell me anything good. I don't need you to tell me anything bad. Just watch. Because it's already predestined for me for what I'm supposed to get and what I'm supposed to receive and what I'm supposed to give out. So I don't need nobody to confirm that because I've already confirmed that. The Lord has already confirmed that. The universe has already confirmed that. So who, I don't need anybody else to confirm it. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like nothing anybody says matters like people who is, is a lot of people that were in my life and i'll say this on my situation a lot of people that were in my life that i was i mean they were in my life for the wrong reasons and not because they chose to be in my life for the wrong reasons but because i had them in my life for mm -hmm. a wrong reason and i was 
I, I'm not going to lie, I was very selfish. I blocked my own blessings because I put these people, these, I would say they were pawns in my life because of materialistic things and and things that I felt like, well, I can, I can hurry up and get to where I want to be if I put this person here or say, that's not the way. Because at the end of the day, if you don't really genuinely care about the people that's in your life or you don't even want to be friends with the people in your life really they not even don't need, don't waste their time don't waste your time because those energies and those spirits around you sometimes they not even supposed to be in your life and i believe that i let certain spirits in my life that were not good spirits and no matter what these it looked like glitter, gold, and glamour. It wasn't a good spirit to be around, and it was a spirit that I didn't need around. So I completely started letting people out and letting those. And I'm trying to release all you. The way to release the spirit, let him take that body, that holds the spirit, and get his ass out of there first. You know what I mean? That's the, that's that's number one. If you got somebody, I don't care how much you like them, how much you like what they have, how much the shit that they have, how much. They do for whatever. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you, it comes down to me or you. You know what that I mean? That reminds me of like a scripture where it says like, "How can two men walk together unless they agree?" See. So it's like, hey, if they negative or whatever. That's it. You, That's it. Got to separate yourself. Exactly, because it's like to. if we can't. Eventually, it's gonna affect exactly, you. Exactly, exactly, and that's that's the truth, though. That's the truth, because if you're sitting there and it's like, I mean, y'all. RC, you know, it it got to the point where I'm like really questioning myself, and I'm like, I don't like you. And I'm a person who likes everybody. I'm cool with everyone. I get along. With, I, it's not too many people I don't get along with. If you don't like me, you have a problem with yourself, and that's how I feel. Cause I'm just this is me all the time. So when a person starts questioning how you are and this is how this is me you're asking me why do i always laugh why am i always having fun why am i what you know what i mean i can't tell jokes or i can't be myself you're first off that tells you one you're not even supposed to be in my life period because you're not going to come in my life to change me you know what i mean and then there's people that then you like i said i question myself and i'm like well damn ain't nothing wrong with me you know what I mean? And I, and at one point I did question like, well, maybe I can change this or maybe it is something wrong with me. But it's not. It's not nothing wrong with me. And I realized that and I said, you know what? It's not me. It's you. You know, it's your ass. And sitting there thinking, it's like, I don't like you as a person. And when you don't like somebody as a person, I'm talking about you don't like anything about them from the core. Every time you look at them, you're like, you just disgusted. It's time to move, get it up out of there. I mean, I swear, I deleted numbers and everything. So it's a lot of people that have been removed out of my life. And I feel and great. Let's keep them. I'm gonna keep them. Oh, they're gonna be gone. They're gone. They're gone. Um, I will be changing my number too, just to, just to confirm it. Because I, I just feel like when you make moves forward don't move backwards i've done it a lot and i that's one thing of advice that i would say for 2013 i would give to people don't based on my backwards. experience mm -hmm. don't exactly you don't jump backwards for what there's no reason to go backwards when you move forward forward is good it's unknown you don't know what's to come and come ahead of you and that's scary sometimes but when you it's better to not know and be moving in a positive direction forward than to know if I go backwards, this is what I'm going to, and it's some bull crap. So why would you go back into the bull crap instead of move forward and it's a positive step forward? You just don't know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? But if you're moving positive, only positive things can happen. So people need to accept that and just not be scared. A lot of times we block our blessings because of fear. You know what I mean? And fear is your, that's your enemy. Fear is a, yeah, is a spirit that is an enemy. And if you allow it to take over, it will take over and destroy you. Fear will destroy your life. Just, that's what it is. And I told that's one thing that I will say. But 2013, I told myself, I 
am living without fear. I don't care what is is. If I don't care if I got, I'm gonna walk up to a line. Um, if I got, I don't care what it is. Fear is out of here. I'm done. I don't care. You, the least somebody can tell you is no. That is a good place to end this video. Thank you. You said it all. Um, the rest of that explains it all. <laughs> Well, Happy New Year, everybody. You, you said some good stuff this video. Gotta say. Thank you. Hopefully, she inspires somebody. Hopefully. I hope so, too. If you Clearly, are... uh, we, I didn't know she was a life coach. I didn't know it. <laughs> well. But, um, yeah, we're out. Happy thanks, New Year. Happy everybody. New Year. Enjoy, Enjoy the holidays. Be safe. Be safe. And shit, keep watching, subscribe, tell everyone else to subscribe. We have a lot more to come for 2013. I hope all of you all have a blessed year, and I hope you all had a blessed 2012. And for those who are loyal and faithful watchers, we love y'all. Stay safe. Have a good one. Thanks for everything. <laughs>